Hello and welcome to The Developer Show. This is your TLDR. TensorFlow makes it possible to add machine learning to your app without the PhD, and you can now learn all about it with this new Udacity course. This is one of the most downloaded DJ apps in the world. After launching on Android, the platform became the largest contributor of business growth, with 50% of total revenue and more than 70% of new downloads coming from their Android users. Find out more with this video linked below. It's now gotten a lot easier to share an app's non-UI code between iPhone, iPad applications, and Android and web versions of the same app using this new Google-authored open source compiler. Check out the blog post for more. Our good friends over at App Annie have launched their 2015 retrospective, looking at the key trends from the last year, including app monetization. Learn the pros and cons of different app monetization models, how to choose the one that's right for you, and considerations for implementations with this new guide from the AdMob team, another in their no-nonsense series for developers. We recently passed one million students on the courses we built in partnership with Udacity. It's a great time to join them in learning how to use this technology to solve the world's most pressing challenges. You can now use Promises with the Firebase JavaScript SDK. Check out the blog post for more, also linked in the comments below. Now that's it for the TLDR. You may have noticed, however, that we're out of the studio again. Today we're down here at the YouTube space in LA, hanging out with developer advocates from around the world. Now you've been active with the hashtag AskDevShow, so I'm going to spend the day interrupting advocates with your questions. Let's get to it. Ask me almost anything in the comments or on social media, and I'll get you your answer. Teacher Aid Pro has a question for Mr. Todd Kerpelman, so I'm going to ambush Todd in the studio before he gets started filming today. Human Torch was, was denied, denied a bank loan. Oh, that's oh. good. It really works the, the job. Yeah. My, oh, hi, Todd. Hi, Timothy. I didn't notice you there. <laughs> I have a question for you. Let's hear it. Teacher Aid Pro from the Internet asked this question about the Classroom API and the Gmail API. All right. They'd like to use it in their iOS apps the way they're already doing in their Android apps. However, they found that the Swift training guide is a little out of date. What? We have documentation that's out of date? Um, all right, so Teacher Aid Pro, there's a couple things you should be aware of. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, on all of our iOS developer guides, look for a radio button at the top that lets you select between Objective-C and Swift. Right okay. now, it is defaulted to Objective-C, and um, it can be sometimes easy to, to miss that radio button. Yeah. So click the Swift switch, and all of your code samples and all of your documentation will then become Swift specific. Swift, Swift specific. specific. So um, that could be it. That said, we did talk to the team. They have acknowledged that there may be some parts of that documentation that are out of date, and they are working on fixing it now um, or right now. now. Okay. But in the meantime, uh, they did point out that all the code samples should be accurate and up to date. So if you notice any discrepancy between um, the documentation and the code samples, go with what's in the code. Use the that code samples. Be, yeah, that yeah. should be good. Well, uh, thank you, Teacher Aid Pro, for your question. And if you have any any other follow-up questions, day or night, on anything, no matter how trivial, uh, please just call Timothy. I'll give you his number. <laughs> Thanks, Todd. Sure thing. So I just spotted Mr. Ian Lake getting his portrait taken, which I think we can interrupt. Hi, Daniel. Oh, hey, Timothy. Hello, Mr. Ian Lake. Hi, Timothy. Do you mind if I ask you a quick question? Sure. Yeah. So you've out asked Dev Show uh, with Model View Presenter on Android, where's the best place to put the presenter? Ian? For a presenter, it's really important that it survives those activity rotations. Yes. Right. But you don't want it to live forever. Um, so we actually have a class for this. It's okay. called Async Task Loader. Async Task Loader. So it does exactly that. It'll live just long enough, whatever your activity or fragment life cycle is. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Ian. Great. So I spotted Rich. He's sunbathing out here outside YouTube Space LA. Great opportunity to ambush him and get a little sun myself. <laughs> How you doing, Rich? Hey, Timothy. So, Super J used the hashtag AskDevShow to ask you a question. You ready for it? Go ahead. Who owns whom? Does Android own Google or does Google own Android? Right. Absolutely the latter. Android is Google's open source mobile operating system. We, uh, we acquired Android Inc. in around 2005, worked on it for a couple of years, and then launched the first version of Android in 2007. Some people thought a bit of a risk at the time, but seems to have caught on. I think it turned out okay. Yeah. Awesome. All good. Well, uh, get back to your hard work. Thanks very oh, much. We'll catch you later. Cheers, Timothy. And that's our show. 
Remember to use the hashtag AskDevShow to get your questions answered. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for a new video every week. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>